Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got a good one for you today. This is uh, the FX Dynamic 700 millimeter 357. Come on, man. You can see we got the Element Optics Titan 3 to 18 on top. Donnie's Yukazuna on here. This is a stock gun. The only tune to it is 150 on the reg. This gun was built for one reason. Well, maybe two. I don't like Pennsylvania grizzly bears too much. So this is the Coyote Crusher. I got it from Utah Air Guns. Was awesome enough to send this to me. And they sent this Element Optics Titan also. And uh, unbelievable. And just in the weeks leading up, I always test the gun about two to three weeks. Wow. And the weather for the weeks was probably 30 degrees, 35, not nice. The gun is tuned, I guess it's tuned to uh, right around 1,000 feet per second. I am interested. It is warm today. I feel like the Pennsylvania grizzly bear here in PA, Punxsutawney Phil, he was uh, correct. He said spring would be early, and I'm ready to get into a T-shirt here today. It's warming up. I think by this afternoon it will be really warm. All that being said, we're going to go and we're going to shoot. I'm, I'm going to show you 50. I'm going to show you 100. I'll show you 200. I might get a little cocky and go to 250. It would be really cocky to go to 300 because I have no idea what, what's, what to expect because we didn't do any shooting at 300 with it. So, But you know what? That's enough talk. Oh, come on. Let me show you something here. You're like, what are you shooting? I'm shooting hybrids, no pellets. So this is all slug shooting today. Now, that's enough talking. Let's get to shooting. Okay. Well, we got 50 yards. We got two tomatoes. We got a playing card. We got a target. We're going to zero here real quick and see how we do. And then I'll move up to uh, maybe I want to show you this. This whole thing has been based around setting this up for coyote crushing. And I just want to show the ballistics of the of the FX hybrids. And it's been at a thousand feet per second. Uh, today's a lot warmer. Let's see if it goes up. It was always 1,005, 1,003. Sitting around there, I've done nothing to the gun. We're right at 250. We got 10, sh well, we got nine shots in the gun. And uh, let's put some rounds down range and see how she's doing. Uh, might have to tune her up a little, but let's just do it. That's, I'm going to run the scope cam here too. Okay. Looks like we're running. All right. Here we go. Okay, well, that pretty much says it all right there. Having fun with my mic today. Putting it in a new spot. I'm going to move it over a little. All right. Now we know where that what that's doing, so. And, uh, all right. We'll just go right to the tomatoes. Wow, I think that said it all. Uh-huh, okay. Now that playing card, I'm not sure if I'm left or right. Uh, I think dead center. I think that's about as good as it gets. I think I just answered your accuracy. How is, whoa, 156 foot pounds. Oh, we jumped 19 feet per second. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was four shots of scary. Wow. <laughs> oh shoot okay all right that was probably some of the best shooting i seen a 357 do right out of the gate um all right this is close as i got to a mic drop okay well what we're looking for now is uh, accuracy and ballistics at 100 yards because that's what you're interested in. Um, and I'll work my way out here. But we got a half inch piece of plywood at 100 yards. And we're going to see penetration on that with the hybrids. And then I got some steel plates down there, three of them to the left of the plywood. We're just going to shoot those and we're just going to see how she does. And 
we'll see what we got there. Fix this up here. There we go. All right. Let's sit down. Let's dial for. I'm going to dial. I don't know. I'll go 2.5, 2.4. And we got just a little bit of wind. I'm going to give myself a little bit. See if we're correct. All right. Turn this on. Okay. All right. And let's get focused here. Okay. First, the plywood. I'll put one in the center of the plywood. No, well, you know what that means. That went clean through the plywood. All right, let's see where we're at in the steel plate. Wind flag's a little in the way. I might be shooting over. Let's take a look. Nah. I don't think I really need to say any more there. So that dial, that correction was correct, even with the wind. And it's a little, just a hair high, but that's really good. I like that. Oh. Okay, that's so you guys don't think it's some kind of fluke. There you go. And we'll go down and take a look at the plywood and uh, get some thoughts about that. Pretty much where I was aiming. Half inch plywood, 100. There's your answer. Right here. Make sure you can see that okay. Yep. So, 100 yards, no problem. And of course, you see the two on the plate. The accuracy is doggone good at 100. Okay, here we are at 200 now. So, I'll take you down. I have a camera down there too. But I want to show you the 200 yards. So, plywood's over there to the right. There you go. That's 200 yards. Pennsylvania grizzly bear is on top. Steel plates there. We're going to do the penetration test on the plywood down there. And then the, I'll shoot at some steel plates, see if I can get the wind reading. And uh, we got a nice little wind. Uh, not much you can see here. But down there, it's picking up a little bit. If you go to the 100-yard flag, you can see that. All right. I'm going to shrink it back down here. And... There we go. Okay. All right. Let's let's see what we got. Uh, 200. I don't know. Maybe I'll go uh, 8 point. We'll go 8.3. See what we get. All right. Pop these off. Turn this on. Okay. All right. Okay, get into focus here for you, and William Center Mass, he's got some hits on him, but uh, I'm going to go with a little more wind. I'm dialing, so it stays in the scope cam, so. All right, I aim Center Mass there, I didn't see that hit. Okay, we got a little bit more wind than I thought, I think. And I'm going to go for a headshot here. Um, I'm coming up. We're going to go for a headshot here, see if we can get that. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. All right, plywood. Uh, I am lower. Okay. Take a look at some plates. See where we're at on the plates. They're a little bit different, but. Okay. I can see a little bit of that wind there. See how that was more dead center? Well, <laughs> guns performing. Uh, Utah Air Guns, uh, yeah, they sent this to me, and and uh, I said I need a Coyote Crusher. There you go. 200 yards. Now I'm going to go down, look at uh, 
the plywood and then I'm gonna move the plywood to 250 and see how we do see what it does at 250 I don't know but so far come on man so at 200 yards that was 100 200 I said and then at 250 I'm gonna go here but this is 200 so it hit there bring this up for you and of course you can see yeah pass through pretty simple and I'm gonna bring the camera over here to the plates because I did this down there all right so I said in the video down there I saw that the first one the first one hit here but look at the look at level first one hit here made a wind correction the gun did exactly what I asked it to do so I was here and I moved to there and you'll see that on the scope cam yeah <laughs> 200 a coyote is in a lot of trouble now we're set up at 250 yards and I'm gonna move the camera like what are you talking about down there at that tree is 250 yards the plywoods down there and the gongs down there and I'm gonna try and zero on the gong first without hitting the, the plywood and knocking it over I hope and then I'm going to shoot for the head of that plywood. Since I shot the middle at 100, the bottom at 200, now we'll shoot the head at 250. And let's see how it does. Those hybrids are doing, at, you know, almost 1,020, which is really, really incredible. All right. Come back over here. All right. I'll have the scope cam on, too. And you should be able to see there's an LED if I hit the plate. I got to dial this. I got a dial for wind too. And it makes it fun to do it on camera. There is a witness here. So we're going to see if we can dial this in. I don't know if I'm right. I think I'm somewhere around here. And that wind just picked up a hair, but not on the range as much. Turn the scope cam on. Okay. We have a couple rounds in here. We got air in the gun. All right, time to take these off. Okay, we'll aim at the gong first. I don't know what that wind's going to do. I don't know if I got enough. Well, we hit plywood. Okay, makes me wonder if I'm over or under. I'm going to come down. <laughs> We're going to have a couple holes in that plywood, I think. Uh, or not holes. I came down a little. Let's see what that does. Well, there you go. I was high. So I'm going to leave it like that because we got one in the plywood. We got one in the gong. You can see where I was shooting. But you see it's exactly at 12 o'clock. I'll turn this off. Well, and at 1,015 feet per second, 155.5 foot-pounds, I guess now is just to find out what happened to the plywood. Is it a killer at 250? Stay tuned. So there's my adjustment. There's the first shot. And you're like, okay, 250 yards, what we called. And yes, it is having no problem at 250 to kill. Half inch plywood, easy pass through at 250. This gun did exactly, exactly what I asked it to do. Wow. Okay. All right. Incredible. All right. Well, I thought this video was over, but I decided to put the plywood down at 300. And I got a couple rounds left, and I got a little bit on the, the reg yet. And I want to see if I can put one in the plywood at 300, just because I'm curious. And this, is, this just showed up. So this is two vets tripod. It's a new company, one of our sponsors. <laughs> I pulled this thing out of the box, and I knew I had quality in my hands as soon as I got it. It was, like, so easy to set up. I mean, I couldn't believe. And how nice. Take a look. We're balanced here really well. I'm going to see if I can. Uh, 
I'll turn the scope cam on, see if I can get lucky enough to put one on the plywood down there. All right. All right. What do we got? Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of holdover. Plywood, you think? There's plywood. I got one in there that time. Wow. All right. I'm going to take a look then. Well, here we are at the end of the video. Mind blown. Don't know. I don't even know what to say. You saw 50. You saw 100, 200, 250. And then I even shot 300 yards. I, I wanted to give you a ballistics of what we call the Coyote Crusher FX Dynamic. Come on, there's four. So there's all pass-throughs. Pass-throughs at, you did 100, 200, 250, and 300. So ballistically, and from what we're seeing going through plywood, we know we're getting uh, we know we're getting the kill shots on on a coyote, and I was impressed with the accuracy of the gun. You saw in the video, I didn't have to shoot that five yard group or 50, 50 yard group. I didn't have to shoot that because you were able to see what that gun did at fifty. We walked it right to hundred. We walked it right out to two hundred to two fifty, and then at three hundred, I wasn't going for accuracy. I just wanted to see penetration, just because I was curious. So when I said to Justin at, at Utah Air Guns, I was like, Justin, I said, I want something I can hunt coyotes with. He says, I, I got just a thing. I was like, really? He goes, and I didn't know how I felt about the FX dynamic because I like the Panthera. And I know that the block, the valve's uh, a little bit different. And uh, I didn't know it was going to shoot like this. I mean, after I did the 50, I was beyond pumped. And truth be told... 200, 250, and 300 was shot with the same mag. I didn't even reload or re-air. I filmed that just like that. I don't think I've ever done that. I've had times where I've shot things, put things down, you refill, and you, and you say that in what you're doing. This gun performed up there. Pleasantly surprised. Did not think I was going to see this kind of performance out of an air gun. And what do you want? 155 foot pounds? And, I, and the gun's designed, it's doing exactly what I'm asking it to do. I wanted the regulated shots. I wanted 10 or more. I get 10 in the mag. You know that's what you're using. It'll do 15. I think it'll do just 15 with the reg at 150, 250 bar fill. And I mean, just outstanding. The only thing that's not stock on the gun, of course, is Donnie's Yukazuno on the end there. I always, you can't see it, but this is a Titan Element Optics Titan. I did use Trigger Cam. I appreciate every one of you uh, helping me out. Trigger Cam, the Titan from Element, and uh, Utah Air Guns here. But also, you see it's on a tripod, the Two Vets uh, tripod here. Fast, easy to set up, on target, and just blew me away. This is Rick with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.